Well, uh, the uh, the bowman there at the Turkish Fair sporting a haircut very similar to yourself about 20 years ago, Richie. <laughs> back in fashion, you should uh, get yourself back down to the, the barbers. I was setting trends back then. It's nice to see it's come around fun circle and in, uh, in fashion once again. Back up at the start here now, we have the final of the men's junior fours that are underway, and you can see on screen, and it is the Romanian crew going in form here. They're off to the fa fastest start, uh, off at 45 strokes per minute, which is very familiar to all of the Romanian crews that we've seen in the racing so far. This regatta up very high rating, looking to establish a lead. Uh, going with them is the Italian crew, rating 41 in lane one. They're the one and two at the moment, but uh, the only crew at the moment is the Hungarian crew in six bit off the pace but we're only into the first few hundred meters here so all to play for uh, going very well as well beside the Romanian crew it is the home favorites of the uh, the French crew uh, here in second place now and uh, pushing on and maintaining an overlap of Romania they're the one and two at the moment coming up to the first few hundred meters really competitive here all the crews up at 39 40 strokes per minute and we're underway here Romania looking good Camilla yeah Romania looking great here and uh, through the semi-final this morning they did seem like the crew to beat, uh, but uh, popping out of the pack now, Great Britain starting to make their move. They managed to secure the other centre lane uh, in the other semi-final, having won that one with relative ease, actually. Um, there was a bit of a bun fight going on around them. Both of these crews in the centre lanes were uh, victorious in their semi-final. Uh, and Great Britain here going for the title defence uh, with a, with an all-different crew, as we mentioned in the uh, coverage earlier. But uh, they're just nipping at the heels of Romania here, both France and Great Britain, they've still managed to secure a little bit of overlap. And similar to what we've seen in the other races as well, these uh, pushing each other on and they're opening up then a little bit of a lead ahead of Italy, Germany and Hungary in fourth, fifth and sixth. So it's got, turning into a three-book race for the medals, uh, but very much within striking distance, still Germany and Italy in lanes one and two. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this is going to play out when we get up into the second half of the race. Just about 750 metres gone. Romania leading it out. Uh, Great Britain within striking distance. Silver medalists at the moment coming in to the 1,000 uh, metre mark, but looking good. And uh, Camilla, these other crews really there. Uh, they can pounce at any stage. Even though it's the bigger boats, we can see that they can uh, move up from fourth and a fifth into challenge for the medals. So with or just over halfway to go, it's anyone's play here for all of the three medals. Yeah, it really is. And and uh, I think you're right in saying that I think we'll see this, these three boats at the moment who are in the center of the course, uh, most likely to secure those. Uh, but what color? Still up in the air at the moment. Romania leading in gold, uh, but uh, striking the same boat speed as Great Britain. They're up at 37 strokes a minute. They're overrating the Romanians just by one pick. Um, but this is uh, a great performance here by the French as well. I hopes on this French crew who uh, have had a really impressive regatta and uh, again, we could see potentially here the first medal for the French uh, on home water. So lots of support for this French crew, I am sure. And they've pulled up right alongside Great Britain here uh, through the uh, centre part. We've gone through the halfway timing marker. Romania uh, led out by uh, just under two seconds ahead of Great Britain and uh, right alongside France still very much in the running. Both of these crews ahead of Germany in fourth. And I think when the uh, French crew hear the roars of the support here coming in towards the enclosure it might help them lift the boat they're doing a really good job here at the moment moving from fifth to fourth and now into third place and just coming up to try challenge uh, the GB crew for the silver medal uh, steering is always going to be an issue here the wind has picked up again so a little bit of blustery conditions for the crews to deal with as they come into the run into the finish the course does open up in the second half of the race which is why you might see a little bit more splashing uh, from the blade work that's taking place uh, but definitely not affecting the boat speed too much uh, for the Romanians they're in full control here they're starting to power on now but this French crew really impressive uh, putting it up to GB but GB responding now Camilla and coming back to challenge for that silver medal yeah coming back to challenge for that silver medal they're just uh, allowing Romania to slip out of their grasp somewhat um, every show 
that Romania takes, it's uh, just pushing them that little bit further ahead of Great Britain. We're through 500 metres to go there. You can see the timing marker on the right-hand side of the screen. Great Britain have pushed a little bit more time into France, though, uh, getting a little bit more solidified in that silver medal position. But here come Germany, look. Here's a massive push from the German crew. Maybe we spoke too soon when we said that the medal's probably to be between these three crews out in front because the Germans are really pushing on to France here. So the blue line of uh, boys that you can see in the background are just indicating that it's over 250 to go and the run into the finish. The Romanians powering on again. They're up at 40 strokes per minute. Ill in, in full control here, uh, but it's all about the race for silver bronze. And the Germans on a charge here. GB responding as well, looking to hold on to the silver medal with the French challenging now coming up towards it. But it looks like the GB crew just a little bit ahead. It's going to be the race for the bronze here between Germany and France, and they might just reel in the Great British crew. Yeah, I think Germany are reeling in Great Britain here for silver. This would be the performance of a lifetime for Gimplinga, Rastetta, uh, Rastetta, Flurta and Saltzman in the German crew. We saw the German fans there willing them on. Have Great Britain got one more gear to respond here to France and Germany? No doubt Romania will be on top of the podium here so long as they can keep clean in the final 10 strokes. It's been an amazing performance for them and I think the Germans have now pushed through Great Britain. Indeed they have. Great Britain also being pushed back from France. Could we see the French first medal? I think we will here. GB will be in fourth, France in bronze, Germany in silver and Romania in gold. A huge celebration there from Konstantin Flotschia in the three seat for Romania. A big pat on the back and look at that, the German fans are enthralled by that performance. France here, first medal of the home championships in Paris and you can see what that means to them. Absolutely great to see for the French crew. I think these were just four friends who put together a crew to come through the trialing system and now there they are with a medal at the under 19 world championships a really strong finish from the german crew to surge in uh, to take second place there ahead of france and great britain back in fourth through everything at the race there gb uh, leading it out in the early stages along with romania did their best to hold on to second place but just the charge of the french and the german crews was unbelievable there in the last 500 and we were saying it's normally the small boats that you see the lead change or medal positions change when you're running to the finish but what an amazing race there to see uh, the French and German crews and the four, the bigger boats coming in to power their way into the medals. Yeah, amazing from, uh, from that German crew in particular, I would say a brilliant performance, wonderful from the French there to claim a medal. And uh, we'll see the medal ceremony in just a moment's time for the uh, under 19 women's fours. And uh, we'll watch these guys coming into the podium there France uh, will be delighted and although no anthem here for bronze medal but uh, the sense to stand on the podium uh, in and amongst your home crowd on home water uh, on the run-up to an Olympics and a Paralympics must be pretty cool for, uh, you know if you're 17 18 years old absolutely you can imagine that a lot of their families and friends will be here as well to uh, see that take place so huge uh, Congratulations to them and great to do it. They're just in front of us here at uh, where we're stationed on the opposite side to the tower. We're watching them there punching the air in jubilation for their bronze medal. Uh, really well done to them. They're paddling up now to the medal presentation along with Germany and Romania. So fantastic to see. And you can see on the left hand side of your screen is where they'll be paddling up to as we hear the all important music for the next medal presentation.